Take your best shot, make your move Oh, step right up, who's next? You're messing with the best Yo team, welcome back to a new video. Got a bit of a croaky voice. That's because the mighty England beat Ukraine 4-0 last night. We kept it chilled, we just went to our local pub, uh, had a few drinks there, because today is Turf Games Summer Festival. Now, it doesn't look very summery outside, the no. weather is not the best, but this is a video that I'm excited to make. Haven't made a video like this for a long time, actually going somewhere, uh, doing something properly. We've got a whole team going, I'll introduce you to the whole team. Yeah, and I'm buzzing for it, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy this turf game vlog. I haven't even showed you this scene either. Uh, right. Rossi has got a new motor. John Cooper Works Mini. Convertible. So hopefully, this sorts it out. We're getting the, we're getting the roof down. We'll get vibing. None of them paid attention. Uh. <laughs> The squad has assembled. We're just dropping bags off, setting up. The venue looks class. Loads of different people. Loads of different scenes. This bloke right here, Foxy, SAS Udes wins. How is he an everyday athlete? You're joking. Anyway, like I said before, we're here to have fun, enjoy it, to see how we get on. So, event one is a sprint workout. It's a ski and a weighted workout. 40 cal buy-in, max calorie ski. Four minutes on, one minute off, three rounds. So let's get through that. Look at that then for a free workout snack. I was getting the vibes and how you feeling now? Good. Looks good. The setup is class. I think we've got one event, two event, three event, and then heavy deadlifts. Like I say, we switched over to this one because a lot more seats. JJ, how you feeling? Ready to go. Toast. Yes. Franny, feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good mate. Let's go. Okay, workout one. 40 calorie ski, buy in. To then, Get him in the middle of us. To then buy into dumbbell snack, uh, goblet squat, and push bet. But five, three rounds, five minutes, well, four minute on, one minute off. So always a 40 cal buy in. After 40 cal, you just max rep ski as uh, bike as well. The road, third time up, they changed it from the ski. I'm a little bit out. nervous, time to go. Round up event one, it was literally simple as the boys stayed on the rower, the ladies did the work at the snatch, squat, push press. And we just had four minutes max distance row basically. Once we hit 40 calories, the girls could start their reps. We hit 140, 128, and 123. So big calories for four minutes, made up of that. Two hours rest, and then three rep max deadlift. Look at the scenes. <laughs> Em wanted to quit halfway through, but she smashed. Tobias is with me down on deck. How'd you find it, mate? Jeez. Tough, but I think we did well. I think we did really well. I felt we had a strong, strong first event. Really good. Got my zones on. Yeah, you all smashed that. Really and Rossi good. sat filming the whole thing, so hopefully got a naughty edit, eh? Just got loads of videos of me going, come on! Come on, boys! <laughs> No more events. No? No. One event done and you're done. Just chilling now, that's it. <laughs> the vibes are good. <laughs> I was giving him a rub down. 
right on the gluteus maximus. How's that feel? <laughs> Hi. Good vibes. Good energy. One down. Three RM deadlift. Let them go. Being honest, I want 180. So let's see how we get on. Jumping in here at this point because I haven't done enough talking footage between clips and I want the videos to make sense. So after we've done our heavy deadlifts, we had one minute rest and then we went on to lift fast. So lift heavy, one minute rest, straight into lift fast. Now lift fast was a 30 kilo sandbag or a 50 kilo sandbag, literally a shot on of 10 meters there, 10 meters back, as many rounds as possible in five minutes. I think we landed 24 when we saw the epic Toby Denny stack. I think we could all watch that two or three times and still carry on laughing. But it was a very, very good event. And yeah, like I said, after the first two events, we went and randomly found ourselves top of the leaderboard. Two events down. Top of the list. After our first two events, we once again had a nice long break, got ourselves a little hecked burger, and then we went back for event three. Now, we thought we were doing it the other way around, but we actually came into the middle event, and we did the sandbag and rig and shuttle runs. The events got slightly changed due to weather on the day. So it was as simple as 100 kilo worm. We'd never used a worm, so we had a little practice beforehand with an imaginary worm. <laughs> It was a 14 minute cap, as many rounds as possible. You started off with two shoulders with a worm, and then you had to do 10 wall balls, four, 10 wall balls, six, and you had to, the goal was to get the worm as high as possible. We managed to get onto the round of 28, um, so then we obviously did uh, 140 wall balls. Is that right, maths? Don't know. Um, but yeah, after, the, after every effort, we had to do 10 wall balls. Uh, the way we worked that was M stayed on the wall balls because she was shorter for the worm. Chase slid out. We, that meant, meant we could manage to keep the worm up for at least the first 10 rounds, and then we started to clean it up and then go. Uh, also, at some point during that workout, you had to all drop the worm and to complete 20 shuttle runs. Once again, 10 meters there, 10 meters back. That was two. Was it 10 meters? It might have even been 20. But once again, it didn't matter who did them, how you broke them down, you just had to get them done at some point for your score to count. And that was my favourite workout of the day. I found that, for the boys, pretty simple. It was just shoulder press and some sprints. It was not, we didn't really have to work too hard. I felt the girls worked a lot harder because they had to jump in with a, and do a lot of wobbles. So that was kind of a recovery event for us. Uh, and that was a really strong event again. And then we that ran us to event four. Three events down, just a little bit of rain, but looking good. I mean, hopefully that doesn't come over. Three events down, I think we're sitting about fifth, but some of those people have finished, so obviously we can take them places go above us. One final event to go, which is a sprint workout, workout for time, assault by dirt over the box, feeble to shoulder, and then sled run. Full set, 100 mile an hour, that takes to finish, so let's try and get top three, eh?
Okay, there we have it, team. I don't know if you can see that. Second place in our pool, which meant we got through to the final, which is 69 people in our pool, 70 people in the other pool. Top four, so two and two, battle it out with a final workout, and we come third overall. Absolutely made up. Coming home. Wait, what did you say to us earlier in Trent? I don't mean you just sound rude, but I'm not sure. What did you say? You said, so no, everyone, everyone looks really There's a lot sick. of, like, <laughs> like tanks. A lot of tanks, a lot of abs floating about. And she basically said, we don't have that, but still coming home, we are athletes. BMA, third position, made up that. All right then, squad. I want to give this video a round up. I've, I, I've literally just, I'm sitting importing this footage right now. And I know for a fact I've got about an hour's footage to try and get through and, and compress into about a 10, 15 minute vlog. So first of all, if you've made it to this point and you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. Just smash that thumbs up button. Let me know down below that you enjoyed it. Um, what a fantastic day. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. That was my first ever team um, competition. What an amazing, amazing day. Amazing experience. The event ran so smoothly with Turf Games. It was just an epic day and I cannot fault it. We went into the day, like I said, doing, we went there to enjoy ourselves and have fun. We are the perfect example of we really enjoy fitness. We love what we do. We want to be, we want to do as much as well as we can with what we do, but we also try to balance our lifestyle with the best we can. We go out for beers, we watch the England game, we don't restrict ourselves. And like I said, I think I said it at some point, Beth was looking around going, some of these guys are in incredible shape and these ladies um, look amazing, which they did. The, the competition was so, so good, but that we didn't care about that. We went there to do our thing, enjoy ourselves, and it just shows that that's not everything. To place third out, I think it was 137 teams in the end, was like an unbelievable achievement. And, um, 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 <laughs> Alright, let's give it up. One more round of applause. Be your mate, fair praise. Well done. Congratulations. Toes, M, Al and, and Che absolutely smashed it. We left it all on that turf and, and we finished event four. And we finished second in our pool to then go into that final. I don't know what we filmed, but no one was ready. No one really even wanted to do it. The, the final event was really, really tough. The four, four, top four teams all battled it out. And shout out to some of those guys because they're incredible. I mean, March on beat us in our pool and then beat us. They come second overall. And those guys are incredible. I, I've been to their gym and, and to see what they do. And that is absolute inspiration for BMA and, and exactly what we want to sort of replicate. So to be competing against those guys in the final heat was just something else. So absolutely overwhelmed and made up with our position. I didn't really vlog too much because before you knew it, we were in the final heat and, and yeah, battling it out and to take third place was just incredible. So absolutely made up with that. Football's coming home. We'll definitely be definitely competing again. I love the, just to compete with a team and, and take a pool of athletes rather than being yourself on, or even just in the pairs, me and I have done the pairs before, but to throw down with a team and to motivate each other, to, to push yourself as a team was just incredible. My favorite event was that deadlift. To throw up a 190 was just, yeah. I, one, one, 175 realistically was what I thought I'd hit. We banked the 180. Al said to me, let's go one, 187. I was just like, I throw up, fuck it, let's go 190. Like, and I know you'd never do that in a gym. I'd never do that in any other situation, but the adrenaline was so much. And yeah, we just, I can't speak highly enough of how the event ran and, and the, uh, yeah, it was just an awesome day. So absolutely made up. Shout out to anyone, any single athlete that got down and threw down over, over the course of the weekend because yeah, everyone made it such a successful and an amazing event. You can probably tell my throat is, is gone a little bit. That's from all the shouting and screaming at each other. Partly to do with England on the Saturday night, but also to do with the event on Sunday. And then we want to cap it off with this. I want to shout out Rossi, the amazing girlfriend. Uh, Kay Fran, who rocked up as well, supported Tobes and the whole team. And then Sam, one of my clients and also Chase partner. They come and, and shout us on and cheered us on and, and they were... They helped us so much. I mean, anyone, you can hear them in the background of, of the footage and just that, having someone in your corner just shouting you on just motivates you so much more. But yeah, Rossi sent a little note and got in some donut time delivered. 
which is absolutely unreal. And, and uh, I actually said to her, I said, I was so knackered after the event, we come straight home, and I just said, I didn't even get donut after. So the fact that she's, she got these, she hooked it up. She, she's a special person, man. I appreciate her a lot. So she's probably not even watching this video to this point, but if you are, babe, appreciate you. Anyway, I'm going to round up this video, I'm going to tuck into some donuts. I appreciate anyone that's watched it up to this point. If you've enjoyed it, if you enjoyed this video, like one thing me and Al chatted about is obviously we were trying to network with a few people. I noticed not many other people were filming that event in. And if I'm one of the only people to be filming an event like that and, and you get back to this channel, I urge other people to do it because it's so cool to be able to network it and see what other people create from the day and just interpret it in different ways. So I'm really excited about this video. I hope it's been an amazing one. It's been a tough year with COVID and not being able to create content like this. And this is what I enjoy making and, and this is what I want to carry on doing. So if you have enjoyed it, say it again, I said it before. Like the video, smash subscribe, let me know down below, and then hopefully you stick around for the next video.